Consider Tesla stock to be one of the hottest in the market right now. Speculatively, what additional stocks would you recommend? Ron Barron, self-made billionaire, says, This is a rare opportunity to learn from Barron, who has been in the investment business for decades. According to Elon Musk, those who have long-termism, who think about things in the long run rather than the here and now, and who are optimistic, have the best chance of succeeding. After that, Ron Barron says, and what you really need is people who have infinite time horizons, not tomorrow, not next quarter, infinite time rises. Ronald Barron Capital, an asset management firm specializing in growth equity investing solutions, was founded by Stephen Barron, better known as just Ron Barron, an American mutual fund manager and investor. After 52 years of research experience, Ron started Barron Capital in 1982. Buy and hold investors' flagship $10 billion fund, Barron Growth, only trades 3% of its value each year. As of right now, Ron Barron has an actual net worth of $4.2 billion. CNBC's Squawk Box recently welcomed Ron Barron, CEO of Barron Capital, to discuss investment options in light of the market's recovery from June's lows. In an interview with CNBC, Barron explained, we're investing in growth companies, so the growth companies are our hedge against inflation. To name a few, Barron disclosed in the aforementioned interview that his firm is actively purchasing shares of Tesla, SpaceX, and Figs, which he referred to as Lululemon for the healthcare industry. Nearly half of Barron Partners' holdings in Tesla were still held by Ron Barron as of early August. With or without Tesla, the fund's lengthier track record is attractive. Since its inception on April 30, 2003, Barron Partners has evolved from a private partnership into a publicly traded mutual fund. As of the end of July 2022, the fund's annualized return was 17.93%, which was much higher than the returns of the Russell 1000 Growth Index, 11.6%, and the S&P 500 to 10.3%. During both the fund's pre-Tesla and post-Tesla existence, it has significantly outperformed the index. Barron's initial Tesla purchase was made in Q1 of 2014, with an annualized return of 21.9% from inception through July 2022. The fund outperforms the Russell 1000 Growth Index, which has returned 14.46% annually from inception through the end of 2013. Before Tesla was even a part of the fund, its annualized return of 14.78% surpassed that of the Russell 1000 growth index by a wide margin. Among its largest investments were shares in Arch Capital, a specialty insurer, ITC Holdings, a provider of energy infrastructure, and Hyatt Hotels. Private equity company Carlisle Group and Windy City Investment Holdings were the two private holdings in addition to Charles Schwab, FactSet Research, and Vail Resorts in the fund. After the announcement of the fund's existence, its portfolio still contains Charles Schwab and Arch Capital, two companies in which it formerly held stock. From the beginning of the fund's existence until the end of July, these equities have generated annualized returns of 12.95% and 13.53%, respectively. In addition, the fund has held Vail since the 2008 first quarter. Before investing heavily in Tesla, which would become Barron Partners' largest position, Vail generated an annualized return of 12.28% from the beginning of that year through July 2022, outperforming the Russell 1000 Growth Index, 11.36%, and the S&P 500 to 9.37% in the process. On December 31, 2013, Arch Capital was the largest position in the fund, accounting for 10.02%. Fund holdings, which average 30 stocks, have occasionally reached double digits. At the end of 2013, for instance, ChoicePoint had an allocation of 18.57%, while Wynn Resorts had 14.91%. However, the current allocation to Tesla is unlike anything else. It has been predicted by Ron Barron that Tesla will generate 20 million vehicles in the next decade. In comparison to Toyota and Volkswagen, the top two automakers in terms of vehicles delivered, the company currently produces roughly 1 million. It's over for Barron and Tesla, but life goes on. Additionally, in late August, 
Barron expressed optimism on a third business helmed by Musk. SpaceX Ron Barron, a billionaire, just put $100 million into SpaceX and expects his Tesla stock to increase in value by a factor of 3 to 5 over the next decade. Barron Capital, an investment management firm, has invested around $100 million, according to a CNBC interview with the company's founder and chief executive. He referred to Figs as the Lululemon of healthcare. Most recently, he has put his money into SpaceX and Figs, a company that makes medical scrubs. To date, Barron has contributed to two separate funding rounds for SpaceX. Meanwhile, SpaceX has made some headlines as of late. We took to Twitter to share the news that we were teaming up with T-Mobile to improve cell phone service. The travel industry is one that Barron is optimistic on, as evidenced by his purchase of Hyatt, Vail Resorts, and Red Rock Resort stock. He has been a well-known Tesla bull, and from his original investment of $380 million in 2014, he has reportedly generated between $6 billion and $7 billion in profit on shares of the electric vehicle manufacturer. He also said that in the following decade, his fund would make three to five times its initial investment in Tesla. During the next decade, according to him, Tesla will become the largest corporation in the world in the next decade, but SpaceX will overtake it in the decade after that. Ron Barron has been a major investor in companies like Elon Musk's Tesla and SpaceX, the Scrubs and Figs manufacturers, and the hotel chains Hyatt, Vail Resorts, and Red Rock Resorts. Since Barron is a growth investment expert, he was recently interviewed and asked what he looks for in companies. This includes, among other things, the likelihood of the company's profits growing at a higher rate than the industry average. A growth firm, he added, is something everyone can grasp, but the concept of competitive advantage, which he considers to be the most crucial, is beyond the comprehension of most. No computer program can solve that mystery. You need to learn the ins and outs of a company to know what makes it tick, as Barron puts it. Tesla was the example cited by Barron. He argued that Tesla's culture of constant invention was the company's greatest strategic asset. When it comes to manufacturing batteries and electric vehicles, Tesla is 10 years ahead of the competition. An entire market has been disrupted by this. The future potential of a company is more important to us than its current value when deciding whether or not to invest in it. We're aiming to have doubled our initial investment within the next five to six years. Investing for the long term in companies we believe have a competitive advantage and are led by excellent individuals has allowed us to achieve this goal. We focus on company concerns, not stock prices and market fluctuations. To the question of whether he ever keeps equities that underperform for a few years, Barron said affirmatively. That happens frequently, he said, using Tesla as an example. From 2014 to 2016, he said, his firm invested $380 million in Tesla. It was a hazardous investment, he said, even if they anticipated a return of 20 times their initial investment within 10 years. In other words, they bet less than 2% of the company's total capital on the stock. He explained that the auto industry is highly regulated and requires a lot of upfront cash, so few people had faith in Elon Musk's electric car business being successful. This was especially true given the fact that oil companies, hedge funds, politicians, and unions were all lined up against Musk. Although Tesla's share price was extremely volatile, it remained rather stable for the next five or six years, during which time the company's sales multiplied by 10. Indeed, our predictions came true, as Tesla's sales have skyrocketed. Between now and the beginning of 2021, our initial investment of $1 billion in Tesla shares has generated a profit of almost $7 billion. According to Barron's projections on CNBC's Swalk Box, the company will generate profits of at least three to five times our money again over the next decade. When asked how long he wants to keep his Tesla shares, Barron Capital CEO Ron Barron said at least eight more years. In an interview, Barron predicted that Tesla will increase in value by three, four, or five times. Despite his fund's $6 billion profit on its initial Tesla purchase, billionaire investor Ron Barron predicts the stock will continue to soar over the next decade.
In a statement, Barron detailed his $380 million investment in Tesla between 2014 and 2016, when the share price averaged approximately $40. So far, he's made back nearly $6 billion, or 20 times his investment. To further diversify its holdings, Barron has offloaded approximately $1 billion in stock from the two mutual funds that own it. He stated that, as of right present, 12.8% of the fund's volume is invested in Tesla. According to my estimation, Tesla is just getting started. The billionaire investor said in a 2018 interview with CNBC that the electric vehicle manufacturer might generate $1 trillion in revenue by 2030. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in hearing more videos like this one about the financial sector.